back to Let's Get Healing With Me, day 13. It's the last day, we made it. How to become your own best partner, because that is the key. Whether or not you are in a relationship, by the way, this is important, to manifest someone into your life, or just to make sure that you stay in a vibration that is meeting your partner, you know, because we get triggered in relationships. So it's important to always make sure to put that energy back into ourselves first because it tends, especially with um, attachment style, anxious avoidant pairings or however insecurities happen sometimes. I know my partner and I have different ways to communicate um, where eventually I can get triggered or he can get triggered and putting the energy back in ourselves takes away the, hey, choose me or hey, why don't you meet my needs? Well, that's not his job. That's your job. And that's my job. Do you know what I mean? All right, so dating yourself is a good one, whether or not same, you're in a relationship again, because it's, why would you want someone to date you if you don't date yourself, right? You need to be able to enjoy your company, your own company by yourself first. I have not been to a restaurant or like a date, like a coffee date by myself without like using my phone or I would like to use a book. I love reading books, so I would take myself on a coffee date with a book like that. I would recommend that stuff. Some people recommend to have nothing and just do people like watching, but you can just write down in your journal and stuff. And apparently sometimes they think you're like food critique and so they come and like give you free stuff and things. So it's just a little tip. Um, but put that energy back into yourself. And second tip, have little reminders about of your in, around your house, uh, according to your love languages, or just like whether it's uh, little sticky notes, um, candles, like the color that makes you feel feminine and sensual, or if you're a guy, like masculine and um, action-oriented. <laughs> so color blue and pink. I mean, yes, the society is conditioned to do that, but whatever you value. So last year before I manifested my partner, I reconnected with the color pink and everything around my house was pink. I had made my nails pink. I had bed sheets that were had pink on them. I had a pink candle. I had written I love you on my mirror. I was buying myself flowers every week in order to teach myself to receive and be my own best partner because what you put out is what comes back to you, right? You attract who you are. So be the best person who you can be. And also write down the qualities of the person you want, but also write down your qualities. What are you bringing in the relationship? Make sure you know your value and what you bring to the table, because when you know that you have deserved to hold them table, you don't accept crumbs and that's important. I'll see you next time.